Hi, I'm Rory Foster with Common Ground, and I'm excited to share the international rotation with you to Costa Rica. We've put the program together over the last few years to help pharmacy students improve their Spanish, understand typical Latino culture, which affects the healthcare process, and also have some fun in their final year of training. So take a look at what the rotation's like, and we'd be happy to hear from you if it's something you'd consider for your final year of training. Pharmacy, it's good. The pharmacy that I'm in is pretty busy, and there's a lot of people there. But a lot of the drug names are different than the United States. All the brand names are a little different, and the generics are similar, so you can figure out what it is. But the, most of the people don't know it by the generics. They ask you for the brand name, and it's kind of hard to find it if you don't know what they're saying. And so yesterday, I kind of just helped organize the drugs because they're supposed to be in alphabetical order, but they're not exactly in alphabetical order. And so that's what I did yesterday, was help to put all the drugs in order for them so it's easier to find. And I also talked to my pharmacist a little bit about what it's like to be a pharmacist here and how long she went to school and kind of the differences between um, the drugs here and the drugs there. A lot of, they have a lot more freedom here with the drugs and the pharmacists basically have control over everything. And, and so thus far I'm learning a lot and um, definitely like Costa Rica, it's a beautiful place and the weather is amazing. that's been interesting to get to know. Um, the people have been so nice for the last two weeks. Um, my family, the people I work with, um, just people in general out on the streets. Um, it's been really wonderful to be here. We've been doing clinics. We've done two clinics in one school. Um, the kids are all excited that we're there. Um, you can tell that they're just stuck kind of in a bad situation and at, and at school is where they're getting their nutrition, they're, they're learning stuff at school and when they go home after school you can just tell kind of by looking at them that they're definitely in a poor situation um, that's out of their hands so that's kind of hard, hard to see. Um, but I'm glad we're there giving them a little bit of help whatever we can. Um, playing with the kids, meeting some of the parents, talking with the people. Um, that's been a really enjoyable experience. And then yesterday we went to a little town outside of San Jose called La Carpio. And it's known for being one of the poorest cities in Costa Rica. It has a lot of Nicaraguan refugees from Nicaragua um, in the past that were trying to come to Costa Rica to make a better life for themselves. All of the houses are made with like pieces of scrap metal and tin. Um, everybody definitely has dirt, mud floors, and you know very little things. And and their houses are all next to each other, kind of just patchworked together. And the people were excited to see us there. Um, we went kind of door to door a little bit and helped where we could, um, answering people's questions and handing out vitamins and some basic pain medications and whatnot. Um, but it was just really interesting walking around in this neighborhood because it was the poorest place that I've ever seen. Um, it's especially different seeing it in person than when you see it on TV um, because it's right there in front of your face. You, you don't really have the ability to move, remove yourself from it like you can on TV. Ahorita, bueno, sí, desde, desde una escuela española en San Isidro de Heredia llamada ELEC eh, y en nuestras espaldas dos volcanes, el volcán Turrialba, que está en erupción en este momento, lo pueden ver con...
Hey everybody, it's Debbie here checking in from Costa Rica. And already I feel like I've learned a whole nother world of Spanish, um, even though I'm only comprehending about 50% of what's being said. Bueno, ese es el fin del juego. Aprendimos muchas palabras nuevas hoy. The word of the day is picaflor. And what's picaflor? Player. Ooh. Playa. A player Playa. as in what? <laughs> as what in, kind of playa? As in a hummingbird goes from flower <laughs> to flower. <laughs>